guys, welcome back to Lost My Library. My name is Kate. Welcome to my little mini library. Uh, you're currently sitting on one of my bookshelves. This is my bookshelf tour. I'm very excited. I organized everything last night to look good. So we're just going to go through all the books on my bookshelves because I don't have very many books actually. I have two bookshelves. Uh, the first bookshelf that you will see on my left are books that I have read versus the books on my right where there's anthologies where I haven't read anything, everything or um, they're just there because anthologies are kind of mixed all over because um, I have an anthology I see it it's sitting on my red shelf and I actually haven't read any of it so it's just kind of sitting there because it looks nice so without further ado we'll just go through the shelves and I'll tell you about my books and my thought process. Um, so we are starting out on the top shelf and we have the OG series, the Percy Jackson series. We have The Lightning Thief, The Sea of Monsters, The Titan's Curse, and The Battle of the Labyrinth. Moving on from the OG series, we have the Heroes of Olympus series right now, Mark of Athena, House of Hades, and the Blood of Olympus. We have our series that are in the Percy Jackson series. We have the Cain Chronicles, so we have the Red Pyramid, the Throne of Fire, and the Serpent Shadow. Series I don't have every book of. I don't have all the books in the Magnus Chase series. I don't have all the books in the uh, Charles of Apollo series. But what we do have is Sword Summer, The Hammer of Thor, which are both in the Magnus Chase series, and The Hidden Oracle, which is the first book in the Charles of Apollo series. Second shelf are authors I enjoy slash books I enjoy. Um, so we have Brandon Sanderson. We have Stephen King. Um, this is the anthology I was talking about that I haven't read any of, but it's sitting there. And we have Priory of the Orange Tree just because I want to set it up here. First, let's talk about the Brandon Sanderson novels I own. We have Skyward and its sequel, Starsight. We have the first book fantasy novel he ever wrote, and that's Elantris. And then we have Mistborn, The Final Empire, is the technical new title for it, but my copy just says Mistborn. Then we have the Stephen King novels I own. We have Carrie, Salem's Lot, which is my least favorite, The Shining, and Night Shift, the first uh, anthology of short stories by him. We have Rivals of Sherlock Holmes. Finally, we have Priory of the Orange Tree. Second shelf, we have books that I've really enjoyed slash my series shelves. So we're going to go from the front to the back. As you can see, it's double stacked. So we have two copies of the same book. The Hounds of the Baskervilles, which I got at the British Museum, and a Sherlock version of Hounds of the Baskervilles. I read last month, actually. So we have I'll Be Gone in the Dark, which is the famous novel that put somebody behind bars. Um, this is about the Golden State Killer, and this is what put him behind bars. So, very famous. And then we have Ink and Sigil by Kevin Harn, which is the first book in his new series. We have the Shadow and Bone trilogy, the Grisha trilogy, the original, Shadow and Bone, Siege and Storm, and Ruin and Rising. We have a few more standalones. We have To Kill a Mockingbird by Harper Lee. It's one of my all-time favorite classics. We have 
Hashtag Murder Trending by Gretchen McNeil. I really enjoyed this and want to continue the series, but I have not bought the second book. And then we have Fun Home by Allison um, Bechtel. Uh, this is a autobiographical uh, graphic novel, and it was pretty good. So it's sitting up here. And then we have Final Girls by Riley Sager, the one and only Riley Sager novel I have read. But I have the others, and you will see them here in just a moment. See, there are more series behind it, so we'll just talk real quickly. We have a Darker Shade of Magic series, and The Maze Runner, which I only have the first book up here right now. Have Then we have the Hunger Games series. I don't know where Catching Fire is at the moment, but I have Hunger Games and Mockingjay and Ballad of Songbirds and Snakes is up here, but it's on the other shelf because I have not read it. You'll see it here in just a second. Move on to our sci-fis. We have Cinder. It's the first book in the Lunar Chronicles series by Marissa Meyer. I really enjoyed it. Have not moved on with the series yet. And then we have Ahsoka by E.K. Johnston. This is my all-time favorite Star Wars character. So, you know, I loved this book. It was good. Oh, I miss Ahsoka. And I'm so ready for The Mandalorian where hopefully she shows up. We have City of Bones. It is the first book in the Mortal Instruments series. It's not the only book I own of the series, but it's on the other shelf because I have not gotten to it. You'll find this is a trend. And we have another very famous dystopian young adult series. We have the Divergent series with the first book being Divergent, then Insurgent, then Allegiant, then the short story collection, whoop, then the short story collection four. We move on to the third shelf on this shelf, and these are books that I thought were just okay, and um, yeah, they're okay, they're just sitting here. So we'll move on. First we have Ten Little Aliens, then we have Giant Air by Charlotte Bronte, and The Seven and a Half Deaths of Evelyn Hardcastle. These are all books that I... Then we have Big Little Lies by Leanne Moriarty, Fahrenheit 451, and The Rose and the Thorn. As you can see, The Rose and the Thorn. Three are Fangirl by Rainbow Rowell, The Chamber by John Grisham, and Digital Girl by B. Austin. Final three, we have Fates and Traitors by Jennifer Chiavreni. The Good Daughter by Karen Slaughter. And Never Have I Ever by Jocelyn Jackson. To my final shelf on this shelf, these are books I did not like. This is my on-haul shelf. Um, some of these... I want to hold on to specifically the God Game because that was my first um, ever physical arc and uh, Ghost of Watchmen for Sentimental um, and North Hanger Abbey as well because um, that one is annotated by one of my professors. So everything else I wouldn't mind leaving my shelf and I know I'm going to get some hate because look what's over here. But you all know, I am my despise. I despise that book. So, let's just get on with it. First two we have are classics. We have Dracula and the picture of Dorian Gray. Then we have books that were in my uh, read it or unhaul it video. And I didn't have a very good reading time with that. So we have The Widow by Fiona Barton. Latter-day Cipher by Latane C. Scott. Immortal by Ilo Rock, which is the worst book I have ever read, just an FYI. And The Trap by Melanie Rabe. We have then we have a recent edition that is Dune by Frank Herbert. I was not a fan of this. 
I gave it two stars, and I know I'm going to get some hate for it, but whatever. It's my, it's my liking. And we have a manga, Children of the Whales, by Abby Yumita. I was not a fan of this. I thought it went too fast. And, yeah, I don't want to continue with this series. Now I'm just going to talk about the books I don't really want to unhaul, but they're just going to sit on the shelf. Uh, first is Ghost Set a Watchman, My Heart for Lee. Like I said, To Kill a Mockingbird was one of my all-time favorite novels. It's such a good book. And then this disappointed me. So, then we have The God Game. Which was my first ever arc I received by Danny Toby. I wasn't a big fan. I thought it could have gone differently. And then uh, North Hanger Abbey by Jane Austen. This is annotated by one of my professors. So I'd like to hold on to it for sentimental value of um, one, of my, uh, one of my professors. Last two on the shelf are The Lovely Bones by... Uh, Alice Siebold. I was just not a fan of it. It was boring. Um, and then we have Murder on the Orient Express by Agatha Christie. I was definitely 100% not a fan of this. This was just not good and, uh, xenophobic. I finally figured out what the word for it is. It's very xenophobic. Uh, not racist. Well, kind of racist. You could probably find some racist aspects to it, but it's very xenophobic. And on up, we have my series shelf slash authors that I really enjoy in their novels. So we'll start over here. This is my Toni Morrison section. This is a Mercy. It's just a blank slate. Okay. Then we have Paradise by Toni Morrison. Beloved by Toni Morrison, and the better uh, cover for A Mercy by Toni Morrison. On to some of my favorite authors, and these are the only ones I have slash this in the series. So we have Way of Kings by Brandon Sanderson, Lock Every Door by Ray Riley Sager, The Last Time I Lied by Riley Sager, Home Before Dark by Riley Sager. And The Invisible Life of Addie LaRue by V.E. Schwab. Right, these are the more not so excited um, continuations of the series and graphic novels that I wanted to keep together. And these two anthology, well, not really anthologies. This is the group of. So, this is the first five novels of the Wizard of Oz series by L. Frank Baum. And this is a collection of four of Sherlock Holmes's novels and 44 of his short stories by Sir Arthur Conan Doyle. On to my graphic novels, we have Walking Dead Volume 32, Rest in Peace. The Walking Dead Compendium Number 1. And The Walking Dead Compendium Number 2. We have Wicked Saints by Emily A. Duncan, and A Ballad of Songbirds and Snakes by Suzanne Collins. Alright, so we move on to my shelf of, shelf of more excited books. Um, this is where most of my standalones that I'm excited about are. So we have Angel's Ashes by Frank McCourt, The Hazelwood by Melissa Albert, There's City of Ashes by... <laughs> Cassandra Clare, and The Orphan Collector by Ellen Marie Wiseman that I have read but I want to reread. So we have The Vampire Stalker by Allison Van Dypen, and, and Orlando by Virginia Woolf. Then we have just some standalones slash, uh, I don't have the rest in the series. We have Ten by Gretchen McNeil. Things Fall Apart by Chiona Achby. Furthermore by Tahira Mafi. And The Legend of Sleepy Hollow by, I'm not sure who this is by, Washington Irving. Not to mention, those were all my paperbacks on this shelf. I wanted to keep my Doctor Who books 
together. So we will talk about those first. First, first we have Whoology, the Doctor Who official miscellany. We have Doctor Who facts, the quote, official quotable Doctor Who, wise words from across space and time, and the official Doctor Who quiz book. Now we have my one and only Batman <laughs> philosophy book, and that is Batman and Philosophy, the Dark Knight of the soul are just standalone hardbacks. We have Winter Counts by David Huska and Juan Blee Wyden. Woody Guthrie by Gustavus Stanler. Balefires by David Drake. Five Feet Apart by Rachel Lippincott with Mickey Daughtry and Tobias Iconis. And we have Skipping Christmas by John Grisham. Putting down the excitement shelf, we have The Ex's Revenge. Fins by Randy Wayne Y. I didn't say that's by Joe Jackson. Jackman. Uh, Jackman, I never, this wasn't my arc that I got. Um, I bought this at Goodwill. Just an FYI. Then we got Wide Sargasso, Wide Sargasso Sea by Jean Rye or Reese. Then we have, then we have The Falling Woman by Richard Farrell. I got that at a Good, Goodreads, um, one Goodreads thing. Then we have The Wrong Sister by T.E. Woods. We have Aragon by Christopher Paolini. Then we have My Sister's Keeper by Jody Colt. And then you'll see I have two Agatha Christie on this shelf. And you're like, Caitlin, didn't you didn't like Murder on the Orient Express? Well, yes, but these aren't Hercule Perot, So I think I will like these more, but they're sitting on this shelf. So we have The Crooked House by Agatha Christie and The Last Seance, uh, Tales of the Supernatural, also by Miss Agatha Christie. And then we have a historical fiction, All the Light We Cannot See by Anthony Doerr. And The Other Woman by Sandy Jones, which I also won on Goodreads. And The Last Song with that lovely movie cover with Miley Cyrus and Liam Hemsworth by Nicholas Sparks. This was the first Nicholas Sparks book I read and the first movie I think I ever watched. And um, that was by a uh by Nicholas Sparks. On to my hardbacks on this shelf. I have The Secret Garden by Oh, I can't even read that. Francis uh, Hodgson Burnett. Burnett. Then we have The Cradle Will Fall, but Fall by Mary Higgins Clark. Second Chance by James Patterson. Frankenstein by Mary Shelley. Seven Lies by Elizabeth Kay. I got this on Goodreads. Uh, Goodreads, um giveaway. Then I got The Burn Palace by Stephen Dobbins. And finally, I have The Dirty Girls Social Club by Alyssa Valdez uh, Rodriguez. About the books that I own that um, I don't know what to do with. So I have Domestic Work by Natasha Trethway. Um, I might move this up. Actually, probably will. Um, it's only down here just because it's a poetry collection. And I'm not so much a big fan of poetry. But this is written by a black woman, I do believe. So this is a very important uh, collection of short stories. Then we have Rainbow Rowell's uh, Carry On. I am borrowing this from a friend. This needs to get read and eventually return to my friend. 
And then we have Thirst Volume 4. I have Volume 1 somewhere. I'm not sure where it is. Um, this was a random vampire. <laughs> I think it's vamp. Yeah, it's vampire. It has to be vampire, right? Um, story that my mom accidentally bought me once upon a time. So, yeah. I'm not sure what to do with these. But let's just move on. Next, we just have a lot of classics. We have Persuasion by Jane Austen. Next, we have our Agatha Christie. We have Cat Among the Pigeons, Death on the Nile, and After the Funeral, all Perot novels that I'm not excited about. Then we have Frankenstein. I know I have a better copy. I bought that one after this one. So, I might get rid of this copy because the other copy looks amazing. And then we have The Scarlet Letter. I've read this before. I don't know why I still have this. Um, because I'm not excited to reread this. I should probably get rid of this because I have a better looking version of it. And then we have Phantom of the Opera. And we have, uh, The Tenant of Waffle Hall by Anne Bronte. And then finally, we have Dante's uh, The Inferno. I haven't mentioned yet is Cold Heart Canyon by Clive Baker. You could obviously, I've started it. I did not finish it. Um, I want to get back to it, but oh, it's such a hard story to read. So we'll see how that goes. But yeah, this is on the shelf, and rightfully so. The back row, I will start with the classics. I have Peter and the Star Catchers by, uh, can't read the name. Oh, it's not even on the front. Uh, Sunday Berry and Pearson. So, there we go. And then there's my better looking version of the Scarlet Letter. And then we have The Adventures of Huckleberry Finn. And last but not least, I love this cover. It's the Odyssey by Homer. Come to our last few books. So these are just random ones. And this is uh, Deep Conviction by Stephen T. Collis. And then we have The Girl on the Train by Paula Hawkins. Hidden Moon, an Expector O novel by James Church. And then to end this off, on a sour note I own Breaking Dawn by Stephanie Meyer that's it guys thank you guys for watching my bookshelf tour if you have any recommendations of what books I should um, start reading because um, you like them or you didn't like them let me know and I'll and I'll see you in the next one bye guys